Hey there internet, Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over an indulgence of mine, which is gadgets. This is the Akix Colo Mix. This is made in Germany, high quality stuff. This is what's called a water doser. Uh, they use this in the concrete industry to dilute water in large batches to be able to get that exact mix that you're looking for. And it is awesome, but very, very expensive. So without further ado, Take it out of its little case right here, and this is it right here. Those of you in the comments, you don't need that. That's not needed. Absolutely not needed. This is a want. Uh, I could equate that to many different things in life. I don't drink coffee, don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke. I don't have those kind of indulgences, so all that extra money that would have been spent on that kind of stuff goes into stuff like this. Hang it on the bucket or whatever you're gonna put it on and just hit the button and walk away. It's gonna dose the exact amount of water that it's gonna need and it's just going to stop. You can set multiple memories. There's two memories. You can also set manual settings. It goes all the way up to 99. So you can do 99 gallons, 99 liters, 99 quarts. It goes all the way down to one quart. Runs off two AA batteries. Uh, it has these Gardena style quick connects. And it comes with a quick connect to snap on here that you can hook up your hose right here or, or you can hook up your hose here. So you could have this kind of hanging somewhere uh, and then have this as a feeder hose into your filler buckets. I wouldn't necessarily hook this up to say a reel or something like that beforehand because the reel is gonna be spooled up. And then when you press the button, this is gonna pressurize and it's gonna send water. But the minute it stops, it's gonna stop. Now you, you may leave liquid in that reel. You may not get the exact dosing that you need. So if you are using a hose, it really needs to be fed directly down. So everything that flows out of the machine flows directly into the bucket, bottle, or whatever you're gonna put it into. The deviation is plus or minus 2%, which is pretty accurate. We are gonna measure that in the video later on. You can handle from 29 PSI to 87 PSI. So for those of you with lower pressure in your house, you're still gonna be able to use this. The one downfall that I see so far based off of the specs is it runs from 2.6 gallons per minute up to 6.6 gallons per minute. Now, why is that a problem? For those of you who are running DI or spotless water into your buckets, a lot of systems, the max is two gallons per minute. It's IP64, so even though this douses water, this is not waterproof. This is not like, I, I think it's like IP5X or IPX5 or whatever it's called where it's waterproof. This is resistant to splashing of water, but it is uh, resistant to dust as well. So I've been sitting on this a while and I just didn't know if I was ever gonna make a video on it. It's been in a few videos already kind of in the background until a lot of people said, yeah, I really like that thing. Tell me more about it. Then I found out from somebody else that Matt from Assess Garage was already kind of testing this out. And was and I, So I looked up and saw a short that he made and said he was gonna go talk to them. So I really wanted to make this video because this is 285 bucks on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. But if Matt gets a hold of this and talks to them, he's probably gonna try to get exclusivity on it. Uh, that's his thing. So if he does get exclusivity on it, he is definitely going to change these fittings. Want to increase the price on this. And if it's sellable at Access Garage, you're going to be charged shipping. I, I don't know how long it would take for that to happen. If it did happen, it may not happen. Who knows? He may not get exclusive. But if that happens, this for sure won't be $285 anymore. So those of you looking to like wall mount this, that'd be a great idea to, you know, kind of wall mount it to at least to where you can see the screen. Do your thing, have that feeder hose hanging down. For my step, it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna hang it on the bucket and let it do its thing. Snap my um, Ely. I keep being corrected on Ely. Ely, okay? Uh, I'll try to say it right. I get corrected on everything. So uh, snap that in there and then use the Ely quick connect to my main hose. Check the description below for links for anything that's in the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to testing. So what you see before you here is just a big smorgasbord of all the products that I use uh, and I dilute. Warnings I should give you, like the smaller bottles. If you have your water on full and you use this, it's going to splash really quick. It's gonna displace water very quickly with the, with the pressure coming into the bottle. And it's gonna shoot up and overflow before you could ever fill it up to the limit that you want. So on the wall here, I have my system dialed down to the minimum at about 2.7, 2.8 gallons per minute. So it's not, crazy flowing in. So IK eFoam Pro 12, I use with DIY Detail All Clean 15 to one, my current favorite APC. I, I do mix in one ounce, uh, or sometimes two ounces, depending on how froggy I am, of uh, incredible suds in there from DIY Detail to get that foam. Right here is a bulk canister. I put a spout on this and I put my incredible suds in here because incredible suds is very, very thick, very thick. You can't use a proportioner with it. 
it's hard to do. So I use a, a pump top here. This measures out exactly one ounce per pump. The SPTA electric foamer right here, my current favorite battery foamer, I use Maniac wheel and tire in there. I do it at about eight to one. You can do like 10 to one, five to one, three to one, just depending on how dirty things are. I find eight to one is about right for value and for, for, for cleaning power. In the bucket and in the foam cannon will be Pan's new uh, clean line, the shampoo. The way it clings to the surface and stays on there and wets and just doesn't dry, it just stays on there. Only downfall to that is to get the foam level that I want, I have to use two ounces per foam cannon instead of one, which is going to double of how much each wash costs me. So my rinseless wash will go in the Fantic MB8 sprayer. Amazing sprayer, holds two full gallons. The spray is good. Uh, it is not cheap, but it's still cheaper than an IK uh, uh, Pro 12. Uh, and then in the bucket will be Nemesis rinseless wash. Uh, I never did a video on Nemesis, but I used it recently a few times uh, off camera and dang, it's good. I mean, the slickness, how well it cleaned, uh, how well the sponge cleaned, it did everything that I needed. The total package with the value is there because 10 bucks for this bottle. You got 40 bucks, like $39 for a gallon. I think Pans is $65 a gallon, DIYs is about $50 a gallon. So the value is just so good. The best thing is just about everything here is available at the House of Rags and code Cars with Key will save you 10% off. So when you have this kind of variety, it's a lot easier to meet that free shipping. Uh, a lot of the other stuff, the SPTA foamer, the buckets come from Amazon, the Fantic comes from Amazon, the dollies come from Walmart. All right, now I know I felt like an ad, but every time I show products, people ask a lot of, in the comments about, hey, what is that? What is that? What is that? I'll just go ahead and explain it to you real quick. I know I mentioned earlier that it, it does from a quart all the way up to 99 quarts, 99 gallons but it actually goes less than a quart. It goes less than a gallon because you can do fractions. So if you put in here, you want one quart or one liter, you can go all the way down to 0.3. So let's show me how we operate this. This has got a screen, just has a few buttons. You have a memory one, a memory two. You have your manual, and this is a, a programming button. Up and down, and then pause and play, basically. Uh, hit that button to turn it on. It'll tell you right there, it's gallons in right now. So a preset two gallons. Preset 2.01, I was just playing around. I usually keep that at three. Uh, but at two, if I hit the play button, it's going to keep going. But I can also pause it and I can start it back. Then if you did it, if you messed up, you wanna start over, you just hit the manual button, go back to your memory, you're good to go. Now, if you wanna adjust it from two and say, oh, I want 1.99, just hit the down button, 1.99. If I'm going down to one, sit there and hold it it's going to go faster this is the one problem with this machine it takes a long time to go down and you just go down to your 1.0 if you want to save that you would just hold the memory button you want it to be saved to it's going to blink twice and now if i go here it's two and back to here it's one you can also hit manual and then you can hit the play button and just dose and it's just going to tell you how much you used so just hold it down Right there, I used 0.24 gallons. So right now it's in gallons. I want to change the liters. So I hold the manual button down here for five seconds. One is liters, two is quarts, three is gallons. I want liters. I'm going to go to that, and I have to hit this five or six times. So that, that, that. It should turn off. When you turn it back on, it's going to say that it's in liters now. So let's just kind of check accuracy a little bit. We're in liters to, say, like a big measuring cup thing that I use. Initially, you don't want to put soaps and stuff in there at sud uh, first because it kind of hits with all the pressure in your line first and then kind of calms down. Mine has a lot of pressure so it kicks pretty hard. I do have it dialed down to like 2.6, 2.7 gallons per minute. You can tell my IK EFOM Pro 12 off camera, I kind of screwed up. I did put the liquid in there first. I wasn't thinking about it and it overflowed and the foam is still sitting at the top. All right, one liter. What are we at? Dang, I'd say like 990 milliliters. So we're within 1%. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's do two. I'm gonna set it right here. Where are we at here? Wow, that's dead on two liters. Right on the mark. I mean, it could be a little less by like a couple of milliliters, but it's, 
Wow, that's pretty dead on. Since we're in liters, let's go ahead and use everything that we use liters with right now. We'll start with this right here, and I'm definitely not gonna put Incredible Suds in there first, but I need four liters in here. So I'm gonna hold that button down, let it get up to four, and then I'm just gonna fill her up. Now we take this and we'll put four blasts in there. Need all my strength to push that thing down. Then I put my cap on, and then I'll have to commence a lot of shaking because as you can see, it collects heavily on the bottom. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but believe me, it clings to the bottom and you need to do a little dance here. And now I have my pre-diluted and I'll set it up on the shelf up there and then I'll just flip it open and fill out my foam cannon. Now the Maniac, I set eight to one. It's just easier to measure out nine to one. This is actually the first time I've used this gallon, so it's pretty heavy, so let's get it to 200. And I'm sure everybody's saying I should be using gloves while I'm doing this. And yeah, I know. 200 milliliters. I'm not gonna put it in first. I don't need the problems I had over there. So I have it in liters. I'm gonna set it to 1.8. Pour in my chemicals. I know you can't see this, it's hiding behind the buckets. And now I have exactly what I need in here, and it's mixed up and ready to go. All right, now for the fun stuff, and what I mainly use this for is my buckets. Now, the Ely uh, sprayer here with the Quick Connect is a bit heavy, so it does put a little bit of strain on the bucket, but the bucket is secured with these little screw downs. Like I said, these are the Walmart ones. I never make it to where it pinches the bucket. You don't want to bust the bucket, but it keeps it from moving around. It just sits right on there. I'm going to turn it on, I'm gonna put on memory of three gallons. I'm gonna let it go. Plenty of time for me to find out one and a half ounces of pan sh shampoo. And then I can pour it in here and it's gonna pour and mix for me. And I have hands free to go do other things set up for the next bucket or set up for everything else while this runs. Now, obviously you could set this to full blast and it would mix and soap up much, much more. Now, since we're still on the shampoo, as Pam would like to say, what we're gonna do a little bit different here is we still have this in gallons, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it at uh, 0.25 gallons because that's one quart, right? It's 32 ounces. That's gonna keep us below that 1,000 milliliter. It's gonna put us at like 950 and then we'll put 50 to 60 milliliters of product in there. And we are <laughs> like 960, nine, a little bit over half, 960. We have plenty of room left for some shampoo. Man, I'm almost out. So we just take our MJC SV3, quick connect top. Oh, so, so good. You can buy this at House of Rags. All right, on to the rinseless wash, the controversial stuff. You're either for it or you're not. It's kind of a thing. Like I was totally against it for a very long period of time, but I've come around to it. I see its value, uh, but I still like I still like a good foam. So I do a little bit of both. Two gallons for the Fantic. Hands free. That's two gallons, one ounce. And like I said, you can pause it. So maybe now there's plenty of liquid in there and I can go ahead and put in my one ounce of Nemesis. I would rather just call it rinseless wash. I don't see the name in naming things, but it's all marketing, it's all in fun. There's our one ounce, get it all in there. Hang it on and finish up. And it's mixing at the same time. And it's overflowing. When will I ever learn? Well, we can put it in manual mode, so. Close our top, and then we will be ready to go with the Fantic. Now I have videos on just about every single of one of these products here that we're using, so I'll put the videos in the description below. Get our one and a half ounces of product. This is a half ounce per gallon. 
and we're going to let it mix for us. There we go, we're filled up and we're mixed up. So now we can take our IK that we would have used for our rinseless wash if we weren't using the Fantic. And now we have a sprayer ready to go. We're going to just check real quick on that three gallon mark to see if it truly, you know, uh, if it's close enough. Uh, we have zeroed out terror scale with the bucket. We are going to put three gallons in here. You know, let a little bit in there because it doesn't have anything stopping it from falling back. It takes about a half a gallon to balance out all this weight. Now we're gonna see how accurate uh, the markings on the bucket are as well because markings on the bucket, not accurate. So yeah, the bucket says that we're at about almost three and a quarter gallons. A gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds times three, it should be 25.02. So we we have more, uh, 25.4, so 25.4, 1.5% off. Wait, that's well within what they said it was gonna be. So there you go, that's everything, that's all. I know some of it felt like a commercial for products I use, but hey, I gotta show how it's being used with what I'm doing. Now obviously you can use this for many other things, lawn chemicals, insecticides, Mixing concrete, that's what it was built for. Let me know if you see a product that does this exact same thing that isn't so dang expensive, but it is built well, it is German, everything about it uh, is, is pretty dang good and pretty amazing. All the products are good. Find them at the house of rags, 10% uh, off code cars with key, but you can also find a lot of this stuff on Amazon as well. And those links will be in the description below. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. What the heck is all over my shirt? is it runs from 2.6 gallons per minute to uh, the <sighs> then go over and it just splashes so much. How many gallons per minute is that? Cause that just doesn't feel right. That's more like it. Why is, why did it creep up on me though? Why did it creep up?